Kilauea volcano on Hawaii's Big Island erupts again. The latest eruption of a volcano on Hawaii's Big Island sent lava spewing more than 1,000 feet into the sky on May 25th. Kilauea Volcano, on the island of Hawaii, had a plume about 5,000 feet high, according to a status report from the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory. The eruption occurred in a closed area of Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, which is located about 200 miles and several islands southeast of Honolulu. The national park is home to Kilauea and Mauna Loa, the latter of which is the world's largest active volcano. Kilauea is one of the world's most active volcanoes, the U.S. Geological Survey says. With a summit at 4,091 feet, Kilauea has been spewing lava from its Halamaumau crater since December. 23. The observatory, which is part of the USGS, said in a May 25th report, This is the 23rd episode of the ongoing eruption from Halamau Mau, which is part of the larger Kilauea caldera at its summit. The May 25th eruption occurred for about six hours at two Halamau Mau vents, with the northern vent ending at 9.48 p.m. local time and the southern vent at 10.25 p.m., according to a USGS update. Overnight, officials were primarily concerned about high levels of volcanic gases, such as water vapor, carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide that could have widespread impacts downstream. Sulfur dioxide reacts in the atmosphere to create a visible volcanic haze, called VOG. In high concentrations, VOG and sulfur dioxide can cause respiratory and other health problems. Another concern is so-called Pelly's hair and other volcanic debris from lava flows. Pele's hair is strands of volcanic glass that can clump together and look like tumbleweeds. Volcanic debris falls within a few hundred meters of the eruption vent, although strong winds can throw the lighter particles into the wind. On the ground, Pele's hair and other debris can cause skin and eye irritation, and officials warn residents and visitors to minimize exposure to these particles.
Kilauea summit, there are significant hazards from crater instability, ground cracks and rock slides, especially after earthquakes. However, the area has been closed to the public since 2007. Most of Halamau Mau's lava spewing episodes last a day or less, officials say. They are punctuated by lulls that generally last a few days, 